Alrighty, hi. My name is Annika. I got into three Ivy League universities and over $2 million in scholarship money, and I will be attending Duke University in the fall on a full ride as a Trinity Scholar and as a James A. Clark Scholar. So almost two weeks ago, I posted my college decision reaction video, and a lot of you, both on Instagram and in the comments, asked for my stats, honors, extracurriculars, all that fun stuff. So I decided to make a video and walk you through basically everything I've done throughout my high school career to get me the opportunities that I was able to get. And of course, a disclaimer, um, the college application process is a very subjective system. So there's nothing that can really guarantee you that you get into your dream school. But all I can say is if your activities are things that you are passionate about, things that you sincerely love to do, that passion will shine through your application. And that's ultimately what can get you to your dream school or dream program. So all I can say is don't stress too much, just do what you love to do. And if anything I say in the rest of this video can help you at all, then I've done my job. Alright, so starting with my stats. My unweighted GPA was a 4.0, weighted at the time of submission was 4.7, and then um, when I ended high school it was a 4.73. My SAT was a 1560 out of 1600, with the individual section scores being 760 out of 800 for reading and 800 out of 800 for math. My PSAT scores were very similar. Um, they, it was a 1500 out of 1520, um, 740 out of 760 on the reading section, and then 760 out of 760 on the math. And I did take the ACT. My super score was a 35 out of 36, but I just preferred my SAT score, so I ended up not submitting my ACTs. Okay, now for the classes I took. Um, so I did go to a public magnet school. It was an early college program. So essentially ninth and 10th grade, we took a heavy load of honors and AP courses. And then 11th and 12th grade, we were enrolled at Guilford College taking college level classes. Um, so yeah, so ninth and 10th grade, I basically had a bunch of honors and APs. And then 11th and 12th grade, I also I did Guilford College and then I also duly enrolled at my local community college um, and I also pursued the North Carolina School of Science and Math online program which I ended up not dual enrolling, it was sort of just extra classes that I ended up taking that were very specific in terms of their scientific disciplines. So as I display my courses, um, they'll be color coded according to this key so it's easier to understand where I took them. So before I came into middle school, I had some high school classes that I took in middle school that transferred over. So those were NC Math 1, NC Math 2, French 1, and Latin 1. Okay, ninth grade. Um, the summer before, I took Honors English 1. In the fall, I took Honors American History, Civics and Econ, um, Honors Bio 1, Honors NC Math 3. In the spring, I took Honors English 2 and Honors Pre-Calc. Year long, I took AP World History, AP Psych, and Health and PE, and I got straight A's in all of those. 10th grade, I took French 2 online the summer before. Um, I took AP Calc, AB, and Honors French 3 in the fall. In the spring, I took AP Calc BC and AP Stats. And year long, I took AP Comp Sci A, AP Environmental Science, A Push, AP Lang and honors turning points in American history. Okay, here's where it kind of gets messy. 11th grade. In the fall from Guilford College, I took Physics 1, Micro Econ, Calc 3, which was multi, um, Scientific Computing, and then a one credit course, which was Guilford College Choir. And then from GTCC, I took Introduction to Programming and Logic. And then from NCSSM, I took Honors Nanotechnology and Research. In the spring from Guilford, I took Classical and Modern Physics 2, um, Advanced Computer Programming, Intermediate French 2, which was basically French 4 at the high school level, um, Documentary Film Production, which counted as an English credit, and then one credit courses, Guilford College Choir again, and Lumina Treble Ensemble. Through GTCC, I took Web Markup and Scripting, Introduction to Internet Multimedia, 
mobile web design and PHP programming. The reason I decided to take all four of those in one semester is because they only offered those in the spring and all four of those combined gave me my IT web development certificate from my local community college. So I just thought that that would help me, um, you know, have some sort of recognition so that I could apply to internships the following summer. So, um, and then from NCSSM, I took Honors Aerospace Engineering and then Mentorship Foundations and Research. 12th grade, I did not take as heavy of a load because college apps um, and also senioritis. But in the fall from Guilford, I took Chem 1, Management and Inform Information Systems, Operating Systems, Drawing Fundamentals, Guilford College Choir again. Um, from GTCC, I took Public Speaking, and from NCSSM Online, I took Honors Human Computer Interaction. In the spring, I took Chem 2, Database Systems, Intro to Business, Ceramic Sculpture, Choir again, Seasonal Cooking, uh, which was just a fun, like, one or two credit course that I took with my friends. Um, and then from GTCC, I started taking more like business oriented classes, which was principles of management. And then NCSSM online, I took honors industrial chemistry and engineering. So throughout high school, I kind of figured out that computer science and like business were sort of my jam. So I obviously <laughs> took a lot of courses in those topics. Um, and I think that showed the admissions officers that I really did have a strong passion for those fields and that I could succeed in them if I decided to major in those in at the college level. Um, but I didn't limit myself to those fields. I did diversify my interests and explore other subjects like ceramics, cooking, drawing, choir, um, psychology, a variety of different things. But yeah, if you're looking to increase the rigor of your course load, um, but you feel that you've either maximized on the number of APs that you can take from your home high school or the subjects that are offered to you simply don't resonate with you, I would definitely check with your school district to see if they have a partnership with the local community college because mine basically allowed me to take a wide variety of courses for free, um, which allowed me to take a lot of specific computer science topics that I wouldn't have been able to explore otherwise. Um, so yeah, that, that's something that I recommend you check out. So my awards and honors, I'm just gonna put them up on the screen, but the ones in the blue are the ones I put in the five spots on the common app section, and then the ones in the green are um, just ones that I put either in the additional info section or I put them on the optional resume if the colleges had a spot for one. Um, but yeah, just pause to read. Essentially, it's just a mix of a lot of science and STEM-based stuff, um, a lot of like app development competitions, some service-based awards. Um, I also put my GTCC certificate up there, but yeah, that's about it. All right, so activities. Um, I'm gonna start with the 10 that I listed in my common app. Um, the first thing I listed was founder and president of my school's code club. Um, basically, I coached club teams to compete in web and app development and programming related competitions. This included the American Computer Science League, um, the North Carolina Ready Set App Competition, um, and a bunch of like local hackathons, things like that. And then we also did service projects. So the biggest one that I did was during the summer of my sophomore year, where I directed statewide camps for over 100 K through nine students virtually. My second activity was that I was president of my school's math club, and I was also the co-founder of the math tutoring initiative. So basically um, through that, I coordinated tutor and tutees for our statewide tutoring platform. Um, and as math club president, I also hosted annual national middle school math contests with um, over 11 states involved. So we basically came together as a club, made the problems, created a whole like test, and then virtually we held this math meet. So all students would take this test and then we would give them up a little award at the end. Um, and then other than that, general math club stuff. So we would coach members through competition material and participate in the AMC and other math related competitions. 
third activity. Um, I was a soprano singer for the Guilford College Choir, um, as well as for the Guilford College Lumina Trouble Ensemble. Um, and for my choir, I was selected as one of five representatives by the choir director to perform with the All Collegiate All State Festival Choir at Duke Chapel. Um, and then for Lumina, for one semester, I performed with the All Female Octet. Okay, so fourth on the list was treasurer and co-head choreographer of the UNCG Greensboro Jolo Bollywood Dance Team. Um, I basically choreographed Indian classical and contemporary fusion performances and helped train members. Um, and as treasurer, I also helped create the team budget and applied for grants, supplies, costumes, that sort of deal. All right, fifth. Um, I was parliamentarian and historian on uh, the student council of my school. I was also my school's media manager and uh, through that I founded and ran the YouTube channel for my school which had at the time of applying over 9.2k views and 43 videos uploaded. I basically filmed, edited, and curated content for YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, etc. Anything media related for our school and I also helped plan student council events. Um, I wrote that I grew our Instagram followers by 65% and I was also the PTSA student rep as parliamentarian. Okay, sixth on the list is robotics. Um, so basically throughout middle school I did FLL, which is like the junior robotics level. Um, and then in eighth grade I joined my high school's FRC team. Um, and so 8th, 9th, and 10th grade, I was a part of the team, and um, I was the team media manager. I was also technician at one point, but right then is where COVID hit. And so um, during the pandemic, when everything went online, I found other activities that uh, I became a part of. So I ended up leaving robotics um, because my other activities took time away from it and I just felt like I couldn't fully commit myself to it. And so in 11th grade, I just became the fundraising lead of uh, my school's robotics club in general. So my school actually has one FRC team and four FTC teams all under one umbrella called the ECG Robotics Club. So as fundraising lead, I helped apply to grants, raise money for the club, and all that pizzazz. Seventh, I was a varsity member of Science Olympiad, and um, I already listed all the awards and honors that I got through Science Olympiad on the awards and honors section of this video, so you can go back to that if you need to see that. Um, and then eighth was that I had a job as a sensei instructor and camp leader at Code Ninjas. Um, Code Ninjas is basically kind of like a Kumon, but for programming. Um, so basically I taught students aged like three to 16 to code with Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, C Sharp, all that fun stuff, um, mainly for games and animation. And then I solo operated the video making and MIT Scratch in center camps. Um, so it was a fun little camp of managing like 20-ish kids. <laughs> um, and it was, it was a fun time. All right, ninth was research. Um, so I was a full-time summer research intern at the Huang Lab at the Joint School of Biomedical Engineering at UNC Chapel Hill and NC State. Um, basically, I researched the neuromuscular control of ankle prostheses with electromyographic signals. Um, I presented my results at the Snickers conference, and throughout this process, I gained skills in MATLAB, Visual 3D, and a couple other software. I did have a few other research internships as well, but since I didn't have room to talk about it here in like the list of 10, I put that in the additional info section, so I'll go back to them after. And then 10th on this list was community service. Um, I was a zoo docent for two years and a museum ambassador for like three-ish years before that at the Greensboro Science Center. Um, basically, I guided and educated visitors while monitoring the museum's exhibits, and I was also selected by the volunteer department head to conduct a psychology research project partnered with UNCG's Duck Lab. So, yeah. 
Okay, and then the activities that I wasn't able to list in my 10, but I did think that they were integral to my application, so I either put these in my additional info section, or if the college had a spot for an optional resume, I put them there. But the first of these was Project Stemina, which was a student-led organization that I was a founder of. Um, basically, we mentored a cohort of young women through, indi through individual computing-based research projects. Our goal was to encourage young women to pursue computing and computing-based disciplines. So we held workshops to teach them about the uh, computer science and computing realm and the various applications of them, and then also teach them how to conduct their own research. Um, this was mainly targeted for middle school students, so starting at a young age. Um, the reason I didn't put it in my 10 was because I was only able to make it a reality in the summer of 2022, which was the summer of my junior year, um, upon meeting other high school girls who shared my interest in helping young women uh, grow towards computing. Um, and this was at my summer residential internship for my research program. Um, so we got together, we built this thing, and I told the admissions officers that I told them that I just created it. It had only been a couple months, but this was something I was wanting to grow. Okay, and then another one that I put on there was that I was a Guilford College computer science TA, and I was also a computer science and math department tutor. Um, and then another one I put on there was that I was a paid intern for history documentation through Guilford College over the summer of my junior year. So basically, our project was to create a research paper on the history of the early college and how it's grown. Um, and this was under the Guilford College precedent. And our hope was that this research paper could eventually help our school gain more funding. And then additional research experiences, I was a um, research intern at the Bobe Bioinformatics Lab at UNCG. I was also a summer research intern at the Interactive Realities Lab at UNCG. And um, I was a shadow student for the Duke CS Plus summer programs one summer as well. This was the summer of my sophomore year. So basically with my activities, I tried to show that I had a strong interest for computer science, kind of like with my classes. But I also showed that I had a lot of like other hobbies and like other unique interests that made me a unique applicant. Um, I also had a strong interest in community service. Uh, I had over 880 hours total during my high school career, so I put that in the additional info section as well. But yeah. So ultimately, I think what brought together all these various activities and honors were my essays. They helped craft the story and put all these little pieces of the puzzle together. Um, even when some of the activities didn't seem like they related at first, I tried to connect them to make a cohesive story for myself. Um, if you guys would like to see that, of course, let me know. I'd be happy to make another video, but that brings us to the end of this one. If you guys have any other questions, any other video suggestions, of course, let me know either in the comments or DM me on Instagram. But other than that, see you guys later. Bye.